Hello hockey fans, happy St. Patrick's Day and welcome to the Glacier in Mount Pearl. It's game number four of the Newfoundland and Labrador under 18 Major Hockey League Provincial Championship Final. East Coast Blizzard hosting the Pinnacle Growlers. My name is Matt Little, Robbie Little behind the camera, Nathan Edwards is our producer as we get set for this one. Couple minutes behind schedule, a little bit of a Zamboni issue, but we're good to go now. Blizzard lead the series two games to one. Three games into this series and the road team has won every single time. Growlers looking to continue that trend and even up the series here this afternoon. Blizzard took game one and game two, both at DF Barnes Arena in St. John's. And then last night here at the Glacier, 6-2 victory for the Pinnacle Growlers as they got their first win of this final series. Make it two games to one, and they will try and tie it up here at 2-2. The Blizzard would love to take this one, go up three games to one in the series because they still host game number five in this building. We think that will be on Thursday. And they would love a chance to do that while they are the home team. Nathan, you got some news for me? Uh, chime in on that... Uh Game game five situation. There's two teams that play out of here. The Junior Mount Pro Junior Blades and the Blizzard. It's limited ice time at this rink. It's re really hard to get ice time. So both teams are fighting over one slot. East Coast Blizzard, the home team in the white uniforms with the dark blue trim. They'll be skating from right to left in this first period. No changes for them whatsoever from the roster that went yesterday. The only omission, number 21, Joel Kelly, not dressed for the East Coast Blizzard here this afternoon. And number one, Will Morgan starts in goal. He has played every minute of playoff action for the East Coast Blizzard. The Blizzard's other usual goaltender, Ty Comden, injured just before the playoffs began, so it has been Morgan carrying the load. At the other end, Pinnacle Growlers have the same roster from yesterday's victory as well. The only difference is number 35, Jesse Harnum, will be in goal for the Growlers today. Scott Kirby got the victory yesterday. Harnum is 3-1 in these playoffs. Goals against average of 2 and a 932 save percentage for Harnum. Teams meet at center ice. Connor Hussey, Ethan Percy in the face-off dot. Puck is dropped, and we are underway in game number four of this final. Growlers in possession as Maloney skates himself to center and plays the puck into offensive ice. Played around behind the net. Avery there for the Growlers, but loses it as he tried to play it to a teammate in the corner. Knocked out by the Blizzard. Not hard enough for icing as it gets down to the goaltender. That'll be covered up by Harnum. We'll get a face-off down in the growler end just 25 seconds into the hockey game. Percy and Hussey in the face-off dot once again. And this one won by Ethan Percy. Sharp angle shot goes across the top of the crease, but not on to goal. Blizzard unable to keep it in as Gavin Connors chases it down, moves it forward. Kosh does the rest, and that one... I think touched a glove at the Growler bench 
and gets another quick play stoppage here in period one. Just 37 seconds gone in the first period. So slow start to this one. If you're the blizzard, you'll probably take that. The Growlers were firing on all cylinders yesterday. Dominated game three from start to finish. Luke Power able to get it deep this time for the blizzard. And what a weird moment there as the puck comes off the backboards, back out through Harnham and right through the crease. But as Harnham moved down, the net came off. So that obviously blows play down. Uh, let's just take a moment to uh, make sure those pegs are good and in because Harnham barely touched the net. And it became dislodged. That's not usually a problem there in this rink. Back underway. Growlers in possession as they skate behind their net. Dobbin looks to move the puck up, but it's blocked up by Flynn. Along the wall, one free. Blizzard will step up. Malachi Marner keeps it in at the blue line, fires it back along the backboards. Growlers now move it along the wall, but Boland dispossessed. Luke Power for the Blizzard. He has it taken away. Finley Dobbin doing the honors, now getting it back into the neutral zone. Blizzard will pick it up there. Quinlan looks to shoot it in deep, but he hit the back of his own man, Power. They'll have to try it again. Quinlan able to knock it in this time around. Harnum will settle it down, let Jack Chafe pick it up for the Pinnacle Growlers. Chafe's pass picked off by Flynn. Jordy Flynn into the middle, Luke Power shot deflected wide. First good chance of the hockey game. A redirect by Quinlan off of the point shot from Declan Flynn, didn't find the net as it bounced wide. Centering pass, unable to pull the trigger, Flynn, and the net is off once again in behind Arnhem. So once again, the linesman and referee will try to set that net and make sure it is exactly where it's supposed to be. Couple of good chances for the East Coast Blizzard here in the early going, no score as of yet. All right, work on the net is done. We can drop the puck, get back underway. Philpot wins the draw clean for the Pinnacle Growlers as they go behind the net. Moved up the wall and back to the defense again, Gillespie. Pilgrim and now up to the forward unit. Growlers play it in. Quickly on it is Declan Flynn for the East Coast Blizzard. He's tied up with Philpot, maintains possession and got it away to Ben Spurl. Spurl's pass goes off the back of the skate of Elias Marner. Skinner will jump on it for the Growlers. Pilgrim lost his stick, has to pick it back up as the Growlers get the long shot in. That's blockered away by Will Morgan. Officially the first shot on goal of the game. Growlers behind the net. They'll play it all the way back to the blue line for Gillespie. Cross to the other side. Pilgrim looking for a tip from Skinner. Didn't work. And Spurl unable to clear the zone for the Blizzard. Skinner once again comes out in front, taken away, and then given right back. Reed Chafe with a chance in the high slot. Can't make it go. On the comeback, Spurl will carry it in. Everybody else changing. Spurl just puts it on net and continues to chase himself. Now Noah Butcher for the East Coast Blizzard. Jordy Flynn, he'll move in. Butcher looking to follow up in the loose puck. And Butcher rocks his man against the backboards, knocking down Devereaux. Kept in at the blue line by Earl. Growlers get to it. Gillespie gets it away. Pass went off the back of Curley, but it's enough to get it away. Growlers will make a line change as well as the Blizzard collect in their own zone. Three and a half minutes gone in the opening period. Still scoreless between the two teams in game four of this provincial final. Long pass up, too far for Russell. It'll get all the way down to goal, though, so no icing here. And that'll be covered up by Harnham as Jacob Russell was following it down the ice.
Face-off controlled by the Pinnacle Growlers, but Connors doesn't let his man outside the zone. Kept in, Kosh to Connors. Under pressure from Maloney. Loose in the corner, goes around behind the net. Devereaux getting it around, but the Blizzard get to it to keep it in. Long point shot, changes directions on the way through, but lost almost all momentum, and Harnham covers it up at the top of the crease. You want to get that tip on the puck to change directions, but not to actually stop it. And it is a fine line between those two actions. Face-off controlled by the Growlers again. Around the boards and out. Pass misses everybody. And icing will be called as the Blizzard chased it down and won the race. So icing against the Pinnacle Growlers. Just four minutes, eight seconds into the hockey game. Percy and Hussey back in the face-off circle. Percy wins it clean. Down will take a shot. That's redirected, goes wide. In behind the net, Hussey stopped it up for the Growlers. Loose in front, it'll come to Kosh. Kosh will fire, Harnham fights it off. Kept in again. Gavin Connors evades a man, takes a shot, takes a deflection, goes up over top of the net. Growlers get it around the wall. The defense steps up to keep it in. Malachi Marner for the Blizzard puts it back deep. Back at the line, Devin down. Keeps it in, plays the puck into the corner. Connors after it, but the Growlers there first. Maloney, he'll play it around the wall. Avery able to tip it out. Hussey in a race after it, all the way down the ice. Hussey goes into the corner against Declan Flynn. Flynn wins the battle. Able to clear it back out center ice. Dobbin for the pinnacle Growlers inside his blue line. Forward, Knight tips it in. Growlers make a line change. Flynn under pressure, got rid of it in time. Jacob Kosh for the blizzard. Moves forward, knocked off his stick before center, but Flynn follows up, he'll put it deep. Some of the forwards for the blizzard go back and change with the puck all the way on the back wall. Picked up by Dobbin of the Growlers and he skates out. Dobbin to Canes on the right wing. Canes will fire it in just wide of goal. Pilgrim wins the race to it there against Canes. And Pilgrim plays it back behind his net. Growlers intercept. Centering pass goes through a couple of legs. Dobbin will keep control to Jack Chafe. Turns and puts it on net. And it's blocked before it got there by Jordan Flynn. Turns on the Jets and plays it down the ice. Quinlan plays it behind the net for Flynn. Flynn out for Luke Power side of the goal. Can't get that one past Harnham. No space beyond the keeper. Here's O'Brien. Looks to come through. Can't get through two defenders. Quinlan, a little tip ahead for Flynn, didn't realize that was coming, and Gillespie able to tick, pick it up for the Pinnacle Growlers. Knocked forward, Tilly's in behind the D, Tilly shot and scores! Second goal of the weekend for Ryan Tilly, and the Growlers draw first blood, 1-0. Second goal of the playoffs as he scored last night and then again now. Six twenty into the hockey game and the Growlers score first. Blizzard had to wait to get back on side. Couldn't pursue that one immediately. And a two-on-one for the Growlers. Can't get the pass across to Tilly. Is down. Got down. Sliding through there to break up the pass. Daniel Curley picks up the lone assist. That'll be his third helper and third point of the postseason. Second goal, third point of the playoffs for Tilly. And as the Growlers in front, 1-0 here in the early going. Nathan Pilgrim along the side for the Growlers. Blizzard able to take it away and get moving. Here's Elias Marner down the wing. Bumps off Tilly, and Boland gets the stick in to knock the puck free. 
Growlers able to get it out. Back down the ice too far. That'll be an icing call against the Pinnacle Growlers. Who try to change up a couple of bodies, but the referee's not going to allow that on the icing call. Face off one again by the visitors as they send it around the back wall. Moving forward, carried in. Boland able to put it deep into the corner. Only Declan Flynn there for the blizzard. Able to move it forward and out. Pass missed the target, everybody will chase it down. Blizzard come up with it, Boland taking it back away for the Growlers. And he'll start up the wing. Knocked free before he could get over the blue line. And now it's Pilgrim to Flynn as the Blizzard take control again. Up ahead to Russell. Jacob Russell moves it forward looking for Butcher. He's cut off by Maloney. And the two of them pounding one another as they go into the corner. From the line, Earl comes back to him. Earl just puts it into the corner, keeping it deep for the Blizzard. Flynn will pick it up. Couldn't get by Maloney. And taken away by the Growlers. Philpot got it away to a teammate. Now up to Reed Chafe. Over the line. Chafe, centering pass. Skinner shoots and score. No! No, off the bar and out. Referee says no. Skinner can't come much closer than that. Well, here he comes again. Michael Skinner plays the puck toward the net. Goaltender with a little poke to keep it away from his goal. Blizzard off the wall. To the line, but kept in by the Growlers. They'll once again play it deep. Trying to keep the home side pinned in their end. Earl to Russell. And Russell will use the glass to clear this one for the East Coast Blizzard. Percy chasing down Dobbin. Giving him all kinds of stick, but Dobbin able to get through it. Kept the puck, got it away. Philpott will play a deep turn and go off in the line change for the Growlers. Andy Knight dispossessed in behind the Blizzard goal. Gavin Connors plays it up the wall but not out. Dobbin is there at the blue line. His pass came out, though, to Jack Chafe. And that is an offside call against the Growlers. Nine minutes, 35 seconds gone in period one. A one nothing game for the Pinnacle Growlers. Percy wins the draw clean for the East Coast Blizzard. Flynn unable to move it up the wall as it was stopped by Avery. Avery can't get a shot as Mal Marner gives him no space. Knight will play it toward the front of the goal. Flynn stops that with a skate, and Declan Flynn gets it away for the Blizzard. Dobbin for the Growlers. Moves it through the middle, nobody home. Then given back away. Growlers on the attack, Hussey. Drags around the defender from a tight angle. Stopped by Morgan. Still loose. Morgan down. He's got it. And tempers beginning to flare as Avery and Kosh share some words. The linesmen have to get in between them. Past the halfway point of period one. O'Brien and Flynn to contest the faceoff. One by the Growlers. Kept in at the blue line, but stopped up, and now Andrews is away for the East Coast Blizzard. Logan Andrews to Quinlan on the left side. Quinlan around behind the net. Still there in the corner on the far side, behind the goal for Power. Power taking a couple of bumps back there as he tries to find a way to get the puck out in front. It's taken by the Growlers. And Nathan Pilgrim will send it out. It'll go off Michael Pilgrim all the way down the ice, and that'll be gathered up by Morgan in the blizzard net before any damage could be done. 9.23 remaining in this first period. Another face-off inside the blizzard end. O'Brien and Flynn once again. O'Brien tried to take a shot, but it went straight up in the air. It does stay in play. 
as Pilgrim gets it over to Andrews. Up to Luke Power, shovels it forward, Flynn. He and Quinlan on the attack. Jordy Flynn takes a shot. Quinlan looking for the rebound, but played away. Right idea, shoot it hard into the pads as Quinlan knocks down O'Brien. Blizzard will come back. Power over the line along with Andrews. Andrews backhander to Power. Oh, but a save by Harnham. Luke Power and Logan Andrews work the give and go. Back to Luke Power going to the goal. And Harnham comes up with a great save. Little look over the shoulder to make sure that he had it in his glove, but he did. Harnham keeps his team in front. 1-0 here in the first period. Off of the faceoff, controlled by the Growlers, Maloney. He'll move it out, takes a deflection in the neutral zone, and then it'll be grabbed by the Blizzard just at their own blue line. Growlers again, dumping it in. It'll roll down to the goaltender, and Morgan's going to cover it up again. Another faceoff with 8.32 to go in period one. one nothing Pinnacle Growlers. Second goal of the playoffs, and third point to Ryan Tilly has us in front. Off of the draw, grabbed by the Blizzard. Spurl getting it away to Marner. Elias Marner got the puck past Maloney, but not really himself. And it's knocked out by the Growlers. Tilly in a race after it. Spur, or, uh, Earl closes on him. And the two of them continue that battle all the way to the back wall. Micah Tucker for the Growlers. Back to the line. Maloney sending it through. That one changed direction and just missed the net. Fairly innocent point shot, but you get a deflection. You never know. Devereaux keeps it at the blue line for the Growlers. Devereaux, quick change direction on the half wall. Puck goes off a stick, but hits the top of the glass and stays in. Boland still there. Boland moving toward goal. Cut off. And the net comes off as the goaltender stretches out as Tilly gets into it. Here comes Tucker, and here come a couple of Blizzard players, including a pair that go to the ice with a linesman on top. A couple of extra shoves for good measure afterwards for Micah Tucker. That was Spurl, I believe he was on top of. And both of them should go to the penalty box. And they will indeed, Ben Spurl and Micah Tucker. We are going to stay five on five as those penalties will cancel one another out. Growlers won the draw, back to Dobbin, who just puts it to the back wall. The blizzard reverse direction. Connors starts to move out of his end, skates into a wall of black shirts. Blizzard will have to try again. Skinner, all kinds of pressure there on the side. Percy will jump on the loose puck. And he's got Jack Chafe in front of him, unable to get out. Percy will win it back and plays it over to Andrews, who had some open ice. Logan Andrews escapes in for the East Coast Blizzard. Bumped by Dobbin along the back wall. Good check from Finley Dobbin. Lifted up and that goes into the bench. Another play stoppage with 6.53 to go. In period one, one nothing Pinnacle Growlers. Face off will be inside the Growlers end. Blizzard lead this series two games to one. They trail in the hockey game here in the first period. Flynn, Power, and Quinlan out there for the Blizzard. They've been the most dangerous line for the home team thus far. At the line. It hops on the defenseman. Growlers have a chance to go. Shot save made down low. Great save by Will Morgan as he denied Knight on the rush.
Avery to Knight. Just gets it in. Pilgrim will take control for the Blizzard. Unable to clear his, clear his zone. Will bounce in front of the net. Declan Flynn kept it away from the goaltender. And now Quinlan's up to center. He'll send it in. They're on side. As Luke Power looks to center the puck, that's blocked. Quinlan pressuring. The Growler's able to get it out. Flynn's got to drop back as Hussey picks up the puck. Drops it off for Knight. Knight with a shot glove save, Morgan. Andy Knight trying to use the Blizzard defenseman as a screen on the keeper. A good glove save by Morgan as he holds on. Inside six minutes to go here in the first. Flynn won the draw against O'Brien. Quinlan back to the line. Gillespie there with the skate to keep it on side for the Growlers. Taken back by the Blizzard. They'll get it out. Jordy Flynn rushing in. Makes the pass to Quinlan. Quinlan with a shot just wide. Flynn tried to put it back in front of the net. It didn't get there. Back on the attack on the Growlers. Canes and O'Brien. Pilgrim just causing problems, unable to, so the Growlers unable to get a shot away. O'Brien along the backboards, keeps it away from Andrews. He'll play it back to the line. Gillespie, right point. Gillespie tried to go toward the net, blocked by Quinlan. Power got a piece of that one, but not outside the zone. Pilgrim back behind his net for the Blizzard, moves it up the wall. Power will do the rest, sends it down. That'll be an icing call against the East Coast Blizzard with 5.05 to go in period one. Shots on goal, officially 10-6. Right now up on the screen. Our graphics and the actual clock in the building may vary slightly. <laughs> Our producer is very confident in his shot count, for the record. Flipped up in the air, down to Flynn. Can he get through the two defenders? No, as Flynn gets knocked down. Andrews at center, puts it right back in for the blizzard. Growlers get it away. It'll fall to Knight. Knight from the high slot blocker, saved by Morgan. Percy and Mal Marner in the corner. Hussey trying to take it away. It'll come around the wall and it'll get out. Kosh will jump onto it for the Blizzard. Connors is following up. Kosh all the way behind the net. Center's in front. Nobody there in white and blue. Now Pilgrim looking to play it back to his D, but it's intercepted by Hussey. Hussey with a shot. He scores. Connor Hussey, fourth goal, sixth point of the playoffs. 2 nothing, Pinnacle Growlers. Just pounces on the mistake and a beauty of a shot from range as he lasered that one just under the water bottle. Face off in the neutral zone, won by the Blizzard as Declan Flynn rifles it in. I'm going to give Avery an assist on that goal. I thought it was unassisted, but that's fine. <laughs> Nolan Avery picking up his seventh helper and eighth point of the playoffs. Long pass. Blizzard put it back in, but it's right onto the stick of Dobbin. He'll get it out. Boland. Cross ice for Jack Chafe. Up the wall, and then Percy. Stopping it with a skate. And a good quick stick from Russell. The Growlers keep winning it right back. Here's Boland. To the outside. 
Bolin turns along the wall. Working the cycle with Tilly. In front, Butcher there with the stick to stop that one. And now it's Jacob Russell. Russell plays it in, follows it all the way to the corner. Percy chasing behind the net, but Tucker there first. Tucker with wheels up to Tilly. He's pushed off the puck, and the Blizzard will turn it back. Gillespie back in his own end for the Pinnacle Growlers. Under pressure quickly from Marnell, who takes it away. Luke Marnell around behind the net. Along the wall. Got a man all over him as he tries to find someone to make a pass to. Now Marner and Reed Chafe in there as well. Elias Marner comes up with it, finds Andrews open. Andrews measures, fires, save made by Harnham. All the action mostly on the other side of the ice. By the time it came to the near side with Andrews, he's pretty much one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And with both of these netminders, you really need a deflection. You need some traffic in front. You need something most of the time. Along the boards here near side. Marnell looking for Spurl. Couldn't find him. Devereaux takes it away for the Growlers. Hard off the boards and out. Pilgrim to Andrews up through the middle. Elias Marner racing after the puck. He'll get there first against Devereaux and gets away from him. Plays it back to the point. Pilgrim fanned on the shot. Pilgrim does a good job at the skate, though, to keep it in. They tried to give it back to him as Pilgrim is going toward the net, but the Growlers break it up. Still kept in by the blizzard. Ben Spurl can't drag it around Chafe. Spur er, Pilgrim got there to keep it in. Spurl chasing behind the net along with power. Growler's able to get it, and they'll move it out. Over center, Skinner will dump it down. Everybody turns, makes a line change. Pilgrim, pass ahead. Finds Luke Power. Power looks to cut into the middle. Too many black shirts in the way. Back at center, it's Jordy Flynn. Inside the final minute of period one as Marner just dumps it deep for the blizzard. They trail by two here in the first period as Power goes after Chafe and loses his stick in the process. He's got it back now as the Growlers play it to the other side of the ice. Good pressure by the blizzard will keep it in, but they can't get control. Back comes Jack Chafe. O'Brien just barely onside. He's hit along the boards, but got the puck to Boland. 25 seconds, Boland to Chafe. Chafe with the shot. And it's knocked down and held on to by Will Morgan. Just 20, 21 and a half seconds to go in period one. Growlers with the offensive zone faceoff. And they win it clean. Pass looked for Dobbin, missed. Dobbin will keep it in on the correct side of the blue line. Behind the net, Bolin trying to get away from Marner. O'Brien in behind the net. Back around, back to Bolin. Look to center to Curley, taken away by the East Coast Blizzard. Final three seconds, they don't really have time to do anything, however. And runs out of time. Percy takes a shot as time expires. Curley hooks him for it. And Percy just turns and skates away. So Growler's very unappreciative of that. But otherwise, not much to complain about. Good road period. More even than we saw yesterday. But a huge roar from the Growler supporters. They lead it 2 to nothing after one period here in game number four. Stay with us. More action to come on AO Live.
Ready for period number two from the Glacier in Mount Pearl, game number four of this Newfoundland and Labrador under 18 major hockey league final. Blizzard up two games to one in the series, but trail 2-0 after the first period here in game number four. Goals in that first period to the Pinnacle Growlers. Second of the playoffs, third point for Ryan Tilly. And then Connor Hussey, his fourth goal and sixth point of the postseason. A more even period than we saw in yesterday's hockey game. Game three was Growlers just start to finish. They really dominated the hockey game. This one, a little more back and forth. Good chances at both ends. The difference is the mistakes. And that's where the Growlers are able to pounce. That first Growlers goal really kind of came against the run of the play in the opening bit of that first period. Blizzard were doing quite well. And then all of a sudden, and then the second goal for the Growlers, capitalizing off a mistake. Where they were able to steal that puck and laser it into the net. So a better response for the home side, but the Growlers are back-to-back -back defending champions for a reason. And if you make those mistakes, they will pounce on it. And that's the difference thus far. We're underway in period two. Kosh for Connors. Connors fires off a stick up and out of play. Just 27 seconds into the second period. Percy and Hussey in that face-off circle. This one goes to the Growlers. Devereaux. Stops up along the backboards. Gets by one man and then gets rid of the puck. Out to the neutral zone. Avery shovels it forward for Hussey. Two on one for the Growlers. Across for Knight. Unable to handle it. That puck up in the air. Andrews. Round to Pilgrim. Pilgrim snaps it down. Missed Connors. Now back to Andrews in his own end again. Over to Pilgrim. Pilgrim will send the pass through the middle. Off the stick of Connors. He'll race it down. Connors and Devereaux to the back wall. Devereaux able to control it. Send it up the boards, but the Blizzard are there. Pilgrim, high slot, scores! Growlers unable to clear the zone. Puck stolen by Pilgrim. Brings himself off the boards into the middle of the ice and just a great release from the high shot as he finds the back of the net. Michael Pilgrim's second goal, sixth point of the playoffs and it's 2-1, home side back in it. Unassisted goal to Pilgrim. Blizzard dump it in, get back on side and give chase. Jack Chafe up ahead for Tucker. Tucker, long pass is behind the intended target. Tilly's going to race it down though. No icing here as Tilly gets hit along the back wall. Blizzard chopping at it, unable to clear the zone as it was kept in by Tucker. Mal Marner, around to the other side of the ice. Declan Flynn moves it forward. Into the middle of the ice, Jordy Flynn. Power just stays on side. Flynn looked to give it to Power, but Power had run out of momentum because he had to stop almost before he uh, put himself offside to the blue line. Now back out in front. Blizzard unable to pull that trigger. Zach Earl back at the line. 
He'll fire long range. Power unable to tip it past Harnum. Blizzard creating a couple of dangerous chances there. And maybe another one here as Spurl takes the puck. Spurl looking to go across. Jack Chafe. Huge defensive play for the Growlers. Elias Marner was parked in front of the net waiting for that one from Spurl. And Chafe blocked it up. Now down in the Blizzard end. Marner gave it away. Into the middle. Reed Chafe's shot is deflected. Up off the glass. Chafe still there. In for Skinner. He's pushed away from the puck and jumping on it is Jordy Flynn. He'll get over center, rifle it in. Flynn wants a change. And he's going to stay to keep it on for just a moment, then make the line change. Marner stepping up and kept in at the line. It'll come to Marnell. Marnell settles, puts it on goal, and uh, did just go up out of play. Harnum got it with the stick. And off the top of the glass and out. Three minutes, 27 seconds gone in period two. A 2-1 hockey game. Michael Pilgrim unassisted. Draws the blizzard within one. Face off one by the home side. Point shot. Again, off the paddle. As Harnum is there to keep it out. Elias Marner gets to the puck. Keeps it alive for the Blizzard. Marnell sends it deep for Marner. Marner centering in front. Nobody home. It'll come all the way out to center ice. Pilgrim is there. Pilgrim sends it up. Spurl with the tip to negate the icing. Nathan Pilgrim for the Growlers. Along the boards and out. Declan Flynn back to get it in his own end with Skinner following. Flynn will go behind the net. He uses the boards to get it ahead. Spurl to Marnell. Reed Chafe in the way for the Growlers, breaking that one up. Blizzard will have to try it again. Declan Flynn to Pilgrim. Ahead, Butcher. Blizzard get it in. Maloney going to be the first man back there for the Growlers. He'll wrap it around. Nathan Pilgrim to Skinner, under pressure from Butcher. But it is flipped up in the air and down the ice. This should be an icing call, and it is against the Pinnacle Growlers. As Pilgrim goes back to touch up. Four minutes, 32 seconds gone in period two. 2-1 two, hockey game. Icing brings the faceoff back into the Growlers zone. Flynn won the draw clean for the Blizzard as they work it back to the line. Andrews will take the shot. Big sliding block. Reed Chafe getting himself in front of that one. Butcher quickly off the wall trying to spring Jordy Flynn. But it's flipped out. Back into the blizzard end, courtesy of O'Brien, but Mal Marner has it, going back behind his net. Malachi Marner up ahead for Flynn. Jordy Flynn into the middle. Finds Russell, able to muscle it over the line, but he had two guys in front of him. Unable to go forward. Moved up to the wall. Jordy Flynn, can he get past Devereaux? He does. Flynn off the bar. Yes, referee says it's goal. He's pointing to the net. He says that's a goal for Jordy Flynn. Unbelievable. Talk about a playoff goal by Jordy Flynn. The boys needed that one. How he found the room to place that exactly in that top corner. He's a, he's a good player for a reason. An inch up or an inch over, it's off the bar and out. But it's just a skill. Good players do good things at the right time, at the right moment, and the Blizzard are back in this one. I couldn't have said it any better myself. 2-2 Two -two hockey game as Jordy Flynn finds the net 5-14 into the second period. Momentum has shifted. Hold on, referee's got to have another word over at the Growler bench. I'm sure they think it was off the bar and out. 
That was my initial thought. But the referee's the one who's right there in the spot. Looks like Trevor didn't, got, didn't get the answer he wanted. Well, no, he was never going to get the answer he wanted on that one, but we are tied 2-2 here in the second period. Russell and Quinlan pick up the assists on that goal to Flynn. Jordy Flynn getting his third goal, ninth point of the playoffs. Jacob Russell showing up again on the score sheet. Russell, a guy who plays down on the fourth line for the Blizzard, doesn't get as much ice time as some of his teammates. He makes the most of it every single shift. He works hard down the corners. He can battle. He can move up and down the lineup. It's just wherever he needs is he's needed at the point. We are down the forward, so a little bit more movement among the forwards. Absolutely. Joel Kelly not dressed here today. Wasn't yesterday. Not today as well. So the Blizzard have three full lines, and then Butcher and Russell just kind of floating a little bit. Sometimes Percy will come out with them. Sometimes Flynn. Yeah, changes around a little bit. Let's get back underway. Growlers win the draw in the offensive zone. Avery's shot was blocked. Goes into the corner on the far side. Blizzard will lift it up, bouncing. It did stay in, but only momentarily now as the Blizzard get control. Gavin Connors forced to go backwards to his defense. Pilgrim. There for the Blizzard. He'll flip it high. Glove down by Knight in the neutral zone. Growlers tag up and give chase. Morgan out behind the net. He'll send it around the boards. A good answer shift here by the Growlers as they're just not giving the Blizzard any time. Good energy. Puck stolen again and shot in this time by Jack Chafe. In behind the net and all the way to the corner. Connors shoves Avery. Allowing the Blizzard to pick it up. To the line, Knight unable to hold it at the blue line as Percy was all over him. Pilgrim getting it down the ice, finds a man. Gavin Connors. Connors to Percy. Percy shot just wide. Andy Knight for the Pinnacle Growlers. He'll get it deep. Growlers changing up some personnel, including Knight himself. Long pass misses everybody. That'll be taken by Finley Dobbin just inside his blue line for the Growlers. Knocked down at the line onside. Gavin Connors looked to make the pass across to Jacob Kosh, who is completely unguarded, but the pass got blocked. Now Connors will take the shot himself, and it's blocked again. And Connors and Dobbin with a big collision. Blizzard still with it. Kosh puts it on goal, and save is made and held on to by Harnham. As I was saying, Connors and Avery have been at it this entire series from the word go in game one. Every whistle, they seem to be on the ice with each other. They're always in a battle. Gavin Connors, you know, one of the uh, Blizzard's leading point scorers, very talented offensively. Uh, definitely not afraid to play physical and mix things up. He's one of the biggest bodies as well and you can usually find him right in the middle of any sort of scrum that's going on. Yeah. Blizzard have taken the lead in shots on goal. Yeah. Tucker for the Growlers. Long pass finds Bolin right wing. He's got a man going to the net. And they tried to feed him. Couldn't quite get it to Tilly. At the line. Deflected away. Lifted up in the air and out by the Blizzard. Gillespie will track it back in his own end of the rink. Just over eight minutes gone here in the second period. Tied at two. Two goals in the first for the Pinnacle Growlers. Two in the second here for the East Coast Blizzard. Here's Boland on the attack. Has to wait for help. Along the wall. Battle continues. Boland still there. Nathan Pilgrim keeping it in for the Pinnacle Growlers. Boland to go to the front of the net, but the pass taken away by Quinlan. To the line, but not out. Gillespie didn't get a lot on the dump in. Blizzard able to get it out. Powers got it, drops it back. It was somewhere in between Quinlan and Flynn, and now here's Boland on a counterattack of his own. And Boland can't get it toward the front of the net as he lost the handle on it. Puck takes a deflection, comes right into the middle. Stepping up. 
Nick Devereaux with a big shot that went wide. Lifted up and out of play as the Blizzard looked to clear the zone. He's fine, he's fine, I hope. Right over top. Keep doing what you're doing, Nathan. Get us back on. We're good, we're on, we're on. We got that. We're on. Okay, we're on. okay, we're back. Wonderful. My apologies, we had a bit of a technical glitch, but we are back on. Growler's going toward the net and ended up on top of Will Morgan, who is down right now for the East Coast Blizzard. Trainer Joe Yetman uh, coming onto the ice to take a look at him. Hopefully he's okay. Linesman pushing that net out of the way. Uh, just so everybody can breathe. Just one of those things as the Growlers are going to goal, trying to score goals. Defenseman was on the forward as well, helped him forward. These things happen. Uh, Jacob Connors now onto the ice for the East Coast Blizzard, stretching out just in case. As mentioned off the top of the broadcast, of course, the Blizzard have been playing with one goaltender because Ty Comden ended up picking up an injury just before the playoffs began. So Comden is unavailable. Ugly Morgan is now back up. At least to a seated position. So Will, that's the reason Will Morgan, with Comden not available, the reason Will Morgan has played every minute of the playoffs for the East Coast Blizzard, and he has done a fantastic job. Jacob Connors is the third goaltender. He is here, he is dressed, he is ready. And we'll see if his services are needed. A round of applause for Will Morgan. Back up and on his skates and certainly doesn't give off the vibe of somebody who's going anywhere, which is good to see. It is going to take a lot for Will Morgan. To come out of that net. Well, absolutely. I mean, safety first. Safety first. But yeah. A yeah. Anytime, uh, anytime there's even a hint of, uh, you know, a possible whack on the head, uh, you've got to take those precautions. Uh, but Morgan went, you know, flat onto the back. Might have got the wind driven out of him with somebody landing on his chest. But he appears like he's okay, talking things over with the referee right now. Uh, again, the Blizzard trainer is back over to the bench. And if, uh, if, if Joe's satisfied, then I'm good. Morgan will stay in the game and will continue on once we uh, reset that net. Just past the halfway point of the hockey game, 9.53 to go in the second period. 2-2 the score between the Pinnacle Growlers and East Coast Blizzard. Shot save made by Morgan. Welcome back to the game. One then two. Morgan stretching out, keeps it out. You know the Growlers want to test him immediately. 
Blizzard now, Jacob Kosh moving in. Kosh on the outside. Takes a shot, hits the outside of the net. Percy in the corner on the other side. He'll work it back to the line. Back to Ethan Percy. This year's Rookie of the Year. Taken away. O'Brien got it past Pilgrim. O'Brien on the breakaway. O'Brien shoots, scores! Ben O'Brien with the steal and the finish. Six goal, seven point in the playoffs. Growlers back on top, make it 3 2. Unassisted on the breakaway goal to Ben O'Brien. As momentum continues to shift back and forth in this hockey game. Blizzard trying to go up as that puck goes out of play. Trying to go up three games to one in the series. Growlers trying to bring it even 2-2. Turn it into what is essentially a best of three, and they would have two of those three games at home. Growler defense inside their own zone as Nathan Pilgrim gets it down the ice. Andrews back there for the blizzard, under pressure as the Growlers take it away. Skinner looking to get the puck out in front, can't do it as he was covered. And the net off again as players were knocked down in behind the net. A lot of bodies, a lot of legs. Net was always going to get a little bump there. Eight minutes, 43 seconds to go in the second period. 3-2, Growlers on top. Blizzard win the draw on their own end. Send it behind the net. Andrews waiting for it here on the near side. Andrews to power along the wall. He'll lift it out. Knight. Back to the D. Try to give it back to Knight. It will get there. He'll knock it in. Marner, first guy back to it for the Blizzard. Puck bounces up in the air. In the corner. Flynn unable to get control. Growlers. Get it to Avery in the high slot. Didn't get a lot on it. And then a great follow-up chance. Knight had some open net if they could have gotten the puck onto his tape at the back door. But it just wasn't where he needed it. Quinlan cut off by Gillespie as he tried to drive inside the zone. And the puck flipped up into the blizzard bench off of Hussey's stick. That'll be a face-off inside the Pinnacle Growler zone with 7.57 to go here in period two. Face-off controlled by the Blizzard. In behind the net, Elias Marner into the corner. Throws it back behind the goal. Centering pass went through everybody. Earl will settle it down. Earl fires through traffic and Harnham able to grab that with the glove. Face off to Harnham's left. Blizzard jump on it. Elias Marner goes behind the goal. He's pinched off by Devereaux. They still maintain possession, however. Back to the line again for Zach Earl. Moved in along the boards. Back to Earl again. Earl will fire through the traffic. Knocked down. Blockered away by Harnham. Flipped up in the air and out by the Pinnacle Growlers. And be offside if they touch it, and they do. 7.22 to go in this second period. 3-2. Growlers in front. We're, 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 we're back on the air before my brief technical difficulty. Now speaking to future Blizzard forward Ben Yabsley. Ben, welcome to the team, sir. Uh, what are your thoughts of joining Blizzard for next season? Uh, I'm excited. It's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a good year. Um, I think they got a good team, and it's just going to be it's going to be great. My next question for you is what brought you to choose 
East Coast Blizzard? Because you could choose between both teams in the new recruiting process. What what was the deciding factor for you? Um, I just thought it was a good opportunity for myself. Uh, I thought it was I thought it was going to be a good year, and I just thought that they had a good young team. Hold that thought. Oh, what, what a, a save. great save by Hernan, Matt. We'll continue that conversation in a moment. What a great save by Harnham. Spurl got in behind the defense. Ended up with a breakaway chance, and Harnham keeps it out. Now Growler's on the attack. Philpot looking to get it in front. Doesn't work as the puck is popped up. Falls to Elias Marner. Ahead again for Spurl, and he was unable to get down the ice. Growlers get it back in. Michael Pilgrim back there for the blizzard, taken away from him by Skinner. Back to the line. Jack Chafe toward the goal, blockered away by Morgan. Hussey unable to keep control as the Blizzard come away. They'll get it to Marner. Elias Marner skates over the blue line. Has it knocked off his stick. He'll chase it all the way to the boards. Lots of players down low in below the line. It'll come loose to the Growlers along the wall. Skinner picks it up there. Michael Skinner plays it out to the wide side of the rink. Kosh knocks it back in. Spurls offside. He's got to go back. And he'll just make a line change. 5.42 to go in the second period. Growlers on top by one. Ben O'Brien's breakaway goal right now the difference as Morgan pulls that one in and holds on with 5.35 to go. Nathan, As, as go Ben Spurl interrupted me. Yes. Continue on with what you were saying about choosing the blizzard. Uh, I thought it was a good opportunity for myself. Uh, they had a young team. I just think it's going to be a good year next year. So, uh, What are your thoughts on our performance here so far today? I think it's pretty good. Um, not a lot of started slow, but um, it's going better now. Uh, they're down by one, but that's nothing. I thank you very much, Ben Yabsley. I hopefully be joined by our other signee, Ethan Jones, in a second intermission, if time permits for myself. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Yes, thank you very much to Ben Yasley, of course, a uh, member of the uh, U15 AAA St. John's Hitmen uh, this season, and uh, also Ethan Jones from the Eastern Thunder. Uh, both were, yeah, they were both uh, just announced this week as uh, signed by the Blizzard for next season, and we're very, very excited to have both Ben and Ethan uh, joining the club for next year. Uh, and I must say, the uh, photos uh, that you grabbed for us, Nathan, of them signing the contracts are officially the most liked post in uh, our Instagram history. So, my, my, my brand new phone. Thank you. Five minutes to go in the second period. Long shot, and save is made. Harnham holding on again. Ethan Percy was in front, trying to see if he could find a tip, but could not. Inside five minutes to go in the second period. 3-2. Pinnacle Growlers lead it over the East Coast Blizzard here in game number four of this provincial final. Following the save from Harnham, faceoff stays inside the Growlers' end. Flynn going to be waved out of the faceoff circle. Butcher will come in to take it against Boland, and Butcher wins it clean. Oh, big step into that one, and that one was driven into Boland. Big shot block, but it will take a minute to uh, walk that off. Butcher provides the pressure. Maloney got it away over to Devereaux. Puck was touched with a high stick by the Growlers, so that's going to settle things down. We'll get another faceoff with 4.39 remaining in period two. Growlers off the draw. Moving it out to center ice. Pilgrim across to his defense partner, Declan Flynn. And Flynn will rifle the puck deep. Butcher gives chase. Devereaux got there first around the boards of Skinner. It came back to Flynn, put one on goal. And that's held on to by Harnham. Percy, Connors, and Kosh back out onto the ice for the Blizzard. Connors wins the draw clean to Pilgrim. Pilgrim settles, fires, went just wide. 
O'Brien unable to get it away for the Growlers. Came back. Shot by Gavin Connors wide of the net. And the puck is up and out of play with 4.09 remaining. Nathan. Thank you, Matt. I'm now joined by Ethan Jones, another future player. This time from the uh, Eastern Thunder. Ethan, welcome to Blizzard. Thanks, Ned. So uh, I'm going to ask so, sort of similar questions I asked Ben. Uh, what made you choose the East Coast Blizzard as your team? Um, you know, I've known the Leeds for a long time, and um, you know, I was more, I felt uh, more comfortable with the Blizzard, and know most of the guys from uh, playing U15 Hitman with them. So that kind of made the decision more easier. And uh, what made you? Uh, uh, well, you said about the Lees and stuff. Um, what came down to your final decision? Like, I know you like the, I know you've been with the Lees for a while, and all that. But what made you choose us over the Growlers? Um, just um, the more comfortable per se. You know, I um, knew most of the guys, and I was talking to most of them, and. Uh, they said that they were having a good year, and that kind of made it a lot easier to All right, thank you so much, Ethan. Welcome to the team. Thank you, Ned. Ethan Jones from the Eastern Thunder. Again, recently signed uh, to the Blizzard, and very excited to uh, have both him and Ben joining the team next season. Skating in just on side as Kosh dragged the leg. Sacker, the defender, all the way into the corner. He'll work it to Kosh, in behind the net. Inside three minutes to go in the second period as it's back to the line, Mal Murner. Murner with the shot that goes wide. Let it go back to down at the point. Move it back into Connors. Trying to feed Quinlan in the middle. Pass got blocked and Quinlan knocked down. Cleared out by Keynes of the Growlers. Malachi Murner all the way back into his own zone goes behind the net. Growlers getting some fresh legs out onto the ice. Long pass up by the Blizzard, right on the tape of Gavin Connors. Connors, blocked up by Pilgrim, makes the pass to Quinlan. Quinlan gets taken down, no call. The referees, to their credit, have been letting the boys play throughout this series. Only calling what's absolutely necessary, and hats off to them. There's going to be some contact, there's going to be some physicality. But let the players settle it. Here comes Boland, in over the line for the Growlers. Plays it all the way to the back wall. Picked up by the Blizzard. They'll get it ahead to power, up the wall and out. Nathan Pilgrim gets it back in for the Growlers. They tag up on side. Around behind the net. Blizzard move it once again to power. Power will flip it into the middle. Quinlan gets control and knocks it in. All the way to the back wall. Quinlan won the race to it behind the net. Look into center, but blocked up. Now Pilgrim puts it back, and that one drifts high up over top of the crossbar. Jordy Flynn keeps it alive for the Blizzard. Flynn goes behind the goal. On his backhand, he'll play it back to the point for Pilgrim. Pilgrim has a look, takes the shot. Power redirects, he scores! The shot from the point from Michael Pilgrim going wide of the net. Luke Power says no, in you go. Luke Power a big body in front. Tips it home. And his game ebbs and flows up and down. Emotions running high. And it's 3-3. Too bad I have to go to work in 28 minutes. Luke Power takes uh, the team lead in points with that in the playoffs as well. As he tips home the shot. From Flynn and Pilgrim. Actually, I think Power and Flynn might be tied on points now. Both on 10. Dump back in by the Blizzard as they touch up. One minute to go in the second period, tied at three. Quinlan pressuring Devereaux. Devereaux able to drop it back to Maloney who had a little open ice. Maloney moves it up the wall. Hussey just kept it away from Flynn. And then Knight puts it deep. Hussey for the Growlers. Back to the line, Maloney. Over to the other side, Devereaux. Devereaux takes a shot. Save is made and held on to no rebound off Will Morgan. Pilgrim and Flynn are the assists on that goal. Shout out to the scorekeepers today. New, new scorekeepers making the announcements like I did last night. Just add something to the game. Helps us too. 
Yes, it does, very much. Everybody doing their job certainly helps out. 35 seconds remaining in the second period, tied at three between these two teams here in game four of this series. Blizzard off the glass and out. It'll get by Maloney. Linesman says it went off him, so play on. Devereaux around the boards. Blizzard unable to hold the line. They'll fire it back in, but everybody's got to come out of the zone. 15 seconds as the Growlers go behind their net. Shot off the glass all the way down. And icing will be called against the Pinnacle Growlers with 6.5 remaining in the period. Speaking of those two players that we just talked to, the U15 Provincial Championships are coming up next weekend in CBS. I'm pretty sure when I was talking to Mr. Seth Hyde out at DF Burns Arena, pretty sure he has the gold and bronze medal games right here on AL. I'll wait to confirm, but I'm pretty sure that's what he said to me. All right, and that is it for period number two. A two-goal lead for the Pinnacle Growlers is now tied 3-3 between the Growlers and the East Coast Blizzard through 40 minutes. A solid round of applause for the home side this time around. As we are deadlocked, 20 minutes left to settle it. Stay with us. Lots more hockey to come on AO Live.
Time for the third period from the Glacier in Mount Pearl. Growlers, yeah. three. Blizzard, three. And yes, I'm still here. <laughs> Glad to have you, Nathan. H half hour extension. That's all I got. Well, we will see what goes on Hopefully here. Hopefully that works. <laughs> we could be in for a lot of hockey this afternoon. It could be just 20 minutes. We shall see. Both of these teams have been to overtime once so far in the playoffs. In both cases, it took 90 seconds. But we're a long way from that just yet. Shots officially 21-18 in favor of the Blizzard. And they were outshot badly in that first period. First period goes to the Growlers. Second period goes to the Blizzard. She's all to play for in period three, game four. Can the Growlers tie the series? Can the Blizzard take a 3-1 lead? We'll find out. And the puck goes all the way back off of the faceoff into the Growler end. Cleared out of there. Pilgrim back into his zone for the Blizzard. Pursued by Knight and Hussey, but got the puck away. Kosh jumping on it in the neutral zone for the Blizzard. He'll fire it in. Comes off the backboards. Devereaux there to deal with that one. Make sure it doesn't come in front of his net. Pilgrim point shot. Loose puck cleared away. Devereaux once again at the top of his crease. Getting rid of that puck before anybody in white and blue could get there. Shot down the ice. And icing will be called as Maloney got back to touch up. Just 45 seconds gone here in the third period. Icing brings the face off back into the blizzard zone. Growlers will send out a new line. And nope. We're going to wave that icing off so the blizzard will get a change and we're going to go face off at center. Let's get back underway. Down, gets knocked down as he was battling Reed Chafe. Chafe with the puck, down gives him a shove and the puck goes back outside the blue line. Dump back in by the Growlers who tag up quickly. Mal Marner across to the other side of the ice, he's got Flynn. Flynn on the wing. Jack Chafe knocked the puck free. Flynn chases it behind the net, moves it along the boards. Down from the point, fired just wide. Dobbin up the wall, can't clear for the Growlers. Mal Marner tried to send it across to down, but it went off the skates of Quinlan. Ended up going all the way back out. Now Quinlan moves it along the boards. Too far for Flynn, it'll be chipped out along the glass by the Pinnacle Growlers. Down into the middle for Luke Power. Power skates in, Power will take the shot blocked off the legs of the defender, Nathan Pilgrim. Growlers come back two on two. Two on three as Quinlan follows up. And Declan Flynn knocked the puck free. Quinlan plays it out. He's got power. Power will move in, trying to go between the defenders. Nathan Pilgrim held him up and didn't let him through. Held in at the line by Pilgrim. Long shot from the Blizzard D-man. Got one goal tonight. Skinner able to clear it for the pinnacle growlers. Good defensive stick, but Tilly still with it. He's one on three, though. Everybody else changing behind him. And the Blizzard able to deal with that one and prevent a shot. Tilly with a goal tonight as well. Marnell pushed into the wall as the Growlers pick up the puck. Off the boards and out, all the way down. No icing here as Pilgrim is back to get it in his own end. Pilgrim for Declan Flynn. It'll hop off his stick. He'll chase it. To the line, not out. Devereaux was there, held it in with the shin pads. Devereaux, high slot, shot is blocked by Pilgrim. Stays in play, Pilgrim will grab it. The defender goes for a skate down the ice. Michael Pilgrim holds up on the half wall. Got the puck all the way in behind the net. Spurl after it there, along with Butcher. Bouncing puck just out of the range of Flynn. And now Devereaux who I swear hasn't come off the ice the, so far in this period. 
Micah Tucker over on the far side of the ice for the Pinnacle Growlers. Long pass looking for Boland, intercepted by Andrews. Andrews into the attacking end. Centering pass goes off the stick of Spurl. Growlers can't clear on the first attempt. Second one will get out. Earl just puts it right back in for the East Coast Blizzard. Devereaux behind his net. Devereaux gets it away for the Growlers up to Boland. Noah Boland brings it in over the blue line. Boland bothered by Russell. is enough to knock the puck free. Blizzard get it away. Russell unable to hold that pass as it hopped over his stick blade. Back in by the Growlers. Earl is there. Zach Earl plays it off the backboards. Gives it to Russell. Russell pass up into the middle. He connects with Flynn. Jordy Flynn takes the shot. Goes off the stick of Dobbin up high and out. Four minutes, 11 seconds gone in the third period. Still knotted up three apiece. Face off inside the growler end. Connors wins it. Jacob Kosh just plays it over to the far side of the ice. Percy will go after it along with Dobbin. Back at the line, held on by Malachi Marner. Shot blockered away. And the Growler's able to get it out. Shot in now by the Pinnacle Growlers, all the way deep in the blizzard end. O'Brien comes up with it off the wall, centering pass, but Curley knocked down. Then toward the net again, stopped off some skates as it didn't quite get into Will Morgan. Jack Chafe fires it back in. Morgan stops it, leaves it behind the net. Around the wall to Gavin Connors. He'll play it off the boards and out. Percy looking for it. He's able to get a stick to it, put it deep, but Gillespie is there for the Growlers. And then gives to the captain. Out into the middle, Canes skates in on the wing. Canes all the way deep to the red line. Centering pass goes through everybody. Knight comes up with it, top of the circle. Snow coned out the top of the glove, but it rolls wide of the net. Andy Knight comes close, but we remain tied at three. Avery. Back to Knight. Back to Avery in the corner, back to Knight. Around behind the net to the other side of the ice. Back in. Now in front looking for Hussey, and that's broken up by the Blizzard. Devin Down brings it over center and then turns and goes off in a line change. As there were a couple of tired Blizzard bodies on the ice. Power able to get the puck deep. It'll go just wide of the goal. Quinlan back after it. Centering pass just missed. Well, the pass got there. Just the shot just off the mark from Jordy Flynn. Now turned over. Now reaching after it. Blizzard could not control in the offensive zone. Growlers come away. Hussey. Slaps the puck all the way in. Declan Flynn being pursued by Avery. Got it around to Pilgrim. Pilgrim lifts a high puck through the neutral zone. That'll be chased down. Gillespie keeps it away from Quinlan. Flynn couldn't hold the line. Avery on the attack for the Growlers. They're offside at the blue line. Thirteen twenty-seven, Still to go in the third period. Still knotted up at three apiece. Growlers had two goals in the first period, led 2-0. They got one more in the second period, but the Blizzard got three of their own. And that's where we're tied. That dump in comes off the backboards. That'll be covered up for sure by Will Morgan at the side of the net. Not going to take any chances. Puck dropped, Marnell won it back to his goaltender. So Morgan will hold on to it again, and we'll do the faceoff over again. Left side, glove side of Will Morgan. Marnell won the draw again against Philpot. Into the corner, Blizzard trying to keep it away from Skinner. They will do, but Devereaux's there to keep it in. Fan on the first shot, stays with it along the wall. Devereaux. Over to Maloney. Maloney's shot blocked by Elias Marner sliding across on a knee. Now 
In behind the goal, attempting the wraparound, denied. And the Blizzard pick it up. Marner, over center, he's going to dump in. Devereaux, he's got Spurl to deal with on the back wall. Puck loose at the side of the goal. Goaltender tried to cover it, but he couldn't find it. And the scramble continues. Maloney, good hard push on Spurl to get him out of the way. But the puck stays inside the zone, at least for a moment. Down keeps it alive at the blue line. Now it's played out by the Growlers. Mal Marner using the boards to get it ahead to Spurl. Spurl and Maloney still all over each other. Puck will come around here to the near side. Blizzard are there. It's Marner. Marner to down. Down, settles it, fires, went straight into the shin pads. And the Blizzard hustle back to make sure that there was no counterattack from Mike, Micah Tucker who had made that block. You know he's got the wheels to do it. Tilly got the puck away to Devereaux. Then lost in the middle. Came back to him. And brought in over the line. Kosh steps in front. As players go to the back wall. Jacob Kosh stuck in the boards. Tucker wins it back as he continues to battle Mal Marner. Now off the gloves of Devin Down. Shoves down his man in front. And the bouncing puck held onto by the Growlers. Jack Chafe for the shot blocked by Percy. Chafe with another shot blocked by Percy. And then Percy and Chafe collide in the corner. Down able to move it toward the line, but Tilly held it in for the Pinnacle Growlers. Mal Marner working against Boland. Boland took the puck away. He got it back to the point. Big shot blocked again by the Blizzard. And a couple of tired players need a change. They will get the line change in. Is now Pilgrim on the ice. Boland chasing him behind the net. Pilgrim moves it ahead to Gavin Connors. Connors breaks wide. Connors looking for space. Just puts on the brakes. Declan Flynn trying to keep it alive at the point, but it hit Tilly. Two on one for the Growlers. And Tilly just lost the handle on it, and they go offside. Rough break for the Growlers as they had the two on one coming in and just unable to handle it. Ten twenty-six to go in this third period. The same as when we started, tied at three. Blizzard, Pilgrim to Flynn. Now Quinlan. Cross ice, Jordy Flynn. Blizzard on side as Flynn brings it in. Shot on! Exactly what they were trying to do. Get that big rebound, but the puck just didn't come to the player they needed it to. Now Quinlan in front. Flynn is there as well. Nobody able to pull the trigger. The defense steps up, keeps the puck deep. O'Brien will grab it behind his net for the Growlers. Sends it around the wall. Now pass back to O'Brien. He'll gain the line. O'Brien lost the handle, but Keynes will pick it up. Keynes plays it to the front. Nobody there. And Jordy Flynn takes it away. Flynn out wide for Quinlan. Puck too far for him. Gillespie. Shoots it back in for the Pinnacle Growlers. Pilgrim picks it up behind his net for the Blizzard. Long pass ahead. Stopped by Devereaux. Devereaux unable to get in clean as Power just sends the puck the other way. And too many men! For the second game in a row, the Growlers get hit with a too many men bench minor. Power was immediately pointing with the stick. As soon as he shot that down there and it was touched. And with 9.23 to go in the third period, this is the first power play of the game. Yes. We had some coincidental minors earlier. But that was it. So the Blizzard with the man advantage. Connors for power. Back to Connors. Under all kinds of pressure from Andy Knight. At the line, Andrews able to hold the line only momentarily before Knight got rid of it. And skates it all the way down the ice himself. 
Blizzard do take it away with three guys back there. Knight unafraid to attack. Even shorthanded. Andrews pinched off hard by Devereaux on the boards. Into the corner. Maloney just holding it up down there, killing time as three Blizzard players come in to try and dig it out. They will get it. Gavin Connors works his way in front, tries to take a shot, bumped into the goalie, then got knocked down himself. Cleared out by the Pinnacle Growlers all the way down the ice. One minute gone, one minute remaining in the bench minor for too many men. Against the Growlers. Through the neutral zone, puck wobbling on its edge, but Jordy Flynn brings it in. Power back to the line, Andrews. Andrews will fire through a redirect, but it goes wide. Bolin just able to chip it past Andrews and jumping onto it. Curley going in on net. Curley fired it wide. He was coming in from an awkward angle and just unable to make it work. He's still with it. Might get another chance. Curley now back to the line. Dobbin. Dobbin wants to just put it deep. Andrews blocked it up. Final 22 seconds of the power play as Curley has it again, trying to get away from Flynn. Curley fires and a save made. Goalie moving one way, but got the leg out the other way. And keeps Daniel Curley out. Final five seconds of the power play as Percy shoots it in off the back glass. Growlers, long one down the ice. No icing as they were still shorthanded when it was shot. We are five on five now. So nothing doing with the man advantage as Declan Flynn takes a shot, another big rebound, but nobody there. All the way back down the ice, it'll get to the goaltender and that'll be covered up by Morgan. 7-0-1 remains in the third period. We remain knotted at three. Most obvious statement in the world. Next goal is a big one. As we go inside seven minutes here in the third period. Growlers with the puck. Shot by Hussey was blocked. Marnell looks to turn back up ice along with Spurl. Spurl plays it in deep for Marnell. He's got a couple of Growlers down there to deal with. Elias Marner comes in to try and help out. Marnell in possession, guarded closely by Hussey. It'll go to the backboard. Gillespie in front of Marner. Growlers get it around Knight. Try and lift it up and out. Hit a teammate, but it does clear the zone. Shot back in by the Blizzard. They're going to make a line change. Gillespie up to Avery. Avery's pass goes off the legs of Kosh. Spurl trying to keep it away from Knight now in the offensive zone. Knight hemmed up along the boards by a couple of players in white and blue. Still there. Knight with the shot. Hit the outside of the net. Avery behind the goal. Percy holds him up on the back boards. Hussey comes in to try and dig the puck out, and he does. Hussey at the side of the goal, covered up by Morgan. Things getting quiet and tense as we go into the late stages of the third period. 5.48 remaining. Shot right off the draw by Skinner. Morgan deals with that one. Philpot behind the net. Had it knocked away from his stick. Devereaux put it back toward the goal, blockered away by Morgan. Played out by the East Coast Blizzard. Gavin Connors ahead looking for Percy. Percy will chase it down. Devereaux had blown a tire and went down. He's right back up and in the play and moving back down the ice, though. Bounces off a down. Devereaux still there. Got the puck to the front. Skinner was there and unable to beat the keeper. Nice poke check by Morgan. Blizzard can't get in over the line. They'll have to try again. Pass for Connors. Gavin Connors got it ahead. Jordy Flynn. Flynn on the attack. Takes the shot and a save made by Harnham. No rebound off the Growler's netminder as he gobbles it up. 
4.52. Still on the clock in regulation. Inside five minutes is when I'm going to throw out the R word. Regulation time remaining. Still tied at three. Of course, there's no three on three. There's no shootouts. We will go until somebody wins this game. Back at the line, Dobbin. Moved in for O'Brien. He's tied up with Declan Flynn. In the corner, they try to get it back to O'Brien. That's blocked up. Quinlan able to get it out. Power and Jack Chafe in a race after it. And Chafe does enough to get his body in the way. Well played. Growler's back in. Stopped up at the line. Offside, says the linesman. And that gets two different reactions from different sides of the rink. Four oh eight, still to go in the third. Still tied at three. Shots are 27-24 in favor of the East Coast Blizzard. As the Growlers get the puck deep again. Andrews is back there. Logan Andrews made the pass to Flynn, to Quinlan. Quickly ahead, Jordy Flynn on the rush again. Over the blue line, drops it back for power. Unable to handle it with Hussey in the way, got it out. Blizzard will get it back over to Quinlan. Just about lost it in the skates. And picked up by the Growlers. Then dispossessed in neutral ice by Marnell. Marnell shakes off a bump from Gillespie. Able to put the puck deep while his teammates are making the line change. Puck out and all the way down the ice past everybody. Down will get there first. And then couldn't handle it, but gets a little help from Elias Marner. They don't let the Growlers get it in front of the net. Gillespie, top of the circle, shot, redirected twice, goes wide of the net. Blizzard up the boards. They'll get it ahead for Spurl. Ben Spurl, cross ice pass, couldn't find Malachi Marner. Marner does take the buck, got it back in for Marnell. Marnell with a shot, and Harnham perfectly square to the shooter. and makes a hard save look easy. Two fifty-five remaining here in the third. Growlers attempting to tie the series. Blizzard want to go up 3-1. It's the pinnacle Growlers who come away off the faceoff. Back to center. Andrews knocks it back in. Kept on as Spurl. Goes forward, doesn't get a shot away. As there were three growlers back. Here comes Maloney out of his own end. Puck will go off O'Brien all the way down to the goal, and that'll be covered up by Will Morgan. Face off down now in the blizzard end, 227. Still on the clock. Faceoff won by Percy of the East Coast Blizzard. Flipped high and out down the ice. That's going to be an icing call against the Blizzard. With 2.19 to go. Boland and Percy back in the dots. Boland wins it this time. Devereaux. Devereaux. A floater up in the air goes over top of the net. Blizzard trying to flip it out into the middle as Gavin Connors was trying to squeak in behind everybody. Uh, blocked up. Brought back in by the Growlers, but into a wall of white. It doesn't clear the zone, however. Growlers on the attack. Andrews with a block. Big sprawl. Banging away. They score! Pinnacle Growlers with 1.53 to go in the third period. Just a wild play with a mob moving toward the goal. The bouncing puck finally find Ben O'Brien. Puts it home for his second of the game. 
and you couldn't score at a better time. Four, three, Pinnacle Growlers with 153 remaining. And Ben O'Brien now seven goals in the playoffs. And after all period, the Blizzard now need one not to win, but to tie and to get this thing to overtime. Something that moments ago they were hoping to avoid. And a penalty called as Devin Down got tripped up. Avery can't believe the call, and he will go to the box for tripping. And again, coach wants an explanation of what just happened from the referee. So timeout. Face off will be in the offensive zone for the East Coast Blizzard as they go to the power play for the, just the second time in the hockey game. Will Morgan still in the goal. Blizzard could go up six on four. And Morgan's gonna come out to the hash marks. He'll see whether or not they win this draw. One thirty-five remaining. Growlers up 4-3. Ben O'Brien has what currently stands as the winner. It'll be Gavin Connors and Andy Knight to contest the faceoff to the left side of Harnham. Puck dropped. Growlers have control. Andy Knight, he'll flip it out. Morgan drifting back into his net. He'll get it, let Andrews take control. Andrews up to Connors. Tried to go cross ice, Knight blocked it. Knight then overskated that one as the puck stopped on him. Percy will pick it up. Get it to the wing and the Blizzard bring it in. Flynn, along the wall. Goaltender's going for the extra man. Jumping on his Kosh. Percy, over to Power. Power will shoot, glove save, Harnum. One, oh one. Still to go here in the third. The Blizzard will spend the whole thing on the power play if they don't score. And they win the draw. Logan Andrews, back to Percy. Percy looking for a lane, he'll feed Flynn. Flynn sends it through. Andrews, back to the line, Gavin Connors. Percy. Percy will let it go toward the goal. Cleared out of the way, it'll go wide of the net, but there's no icing with the Growlers killing the penalty. 35 seconds as the Blizzard pick it up in their own end. Still alive, down by one. Brought in, they're onside, Gavin Connors drops it for Kosh. Kosh under pressure from Boland who got it back out. Boland winning the race to it. Skinner's there as well. Boland flips it over to him. Skinner guides it in. And it's 5-3 Pinnacle Growlers. The risk you take with the empty net as the Growlers score in the empty net for the second game in a row. But one, if you're the home team, you had to take. So the Growlers put this thing away with just 18 seconds remaining. Checking the equipment of Philpot, making sure he's got everything done up as he's supposed to. Still on the press. What a save by Harnum as he denies Ben Sparrow. 
Elias Marner set up Ben Spurl right there in the crease, and it wasn't enough. And somehow, four games in, the road team has won every single time. 5-3, Pinnacle Growlers win it, and with series is tied at two apiece. Game five, set for Thursday. I believe game six, back at DF Barnes Arena is Friday. As by this time next weekend, this series will be over. We will have a provincial champion. But who's it gonna be? Completely up in the air. As this has essentially now become a best of three series. Blizzard take the first game, Blizzard take the second. Growlers yesterday 6-2, and then again today 5-3 as they knot the series up at two games apiece. Thanks for being with us today on AO Live. Exciting hockey game and more to come. Game five coming up later this week. For my producer, Nathan Edwards, for my cameraman, Robbie Little, my name is Matt Little, bidding you a good afternoon from the Glacier in Mount Pearl. Final score, Pinnacle Growlers five, East Coast Blizzard three, and you've seen it on AO Live.